So in this video today, we will decide on the nine factors which are generally used while calculating performance metric for a distributed system. Distributed system here means any sort of system which is working in a distributed architecture or a microservice based environment. So there are some factors which we calculate the performance upon. These can be different in the sense that what is the metric that they focus upon. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first and very important performance metric for measuring the performance of your distributed system is availability. Availability basically is the percentage of time the cloud service or the API that you're hosting is likely to be available. And this is generally decided on the basis of service level ag agreement as well. Usually the availability will be measured in terms of percentage. You might have seen that the API providers will say that the availability of their API is around let's say 99.9% .9 or even uh, more than that. Understand it this way that availability is calculated in terms of percentage, absolute percent and higher the availability, better is your system. Next, in order to measure the performance of your distributed system, we need to understand reliability. We measure reliability in two forms. One is MTBF and another one is MTTR. So MTBF is mean time between failures. Let's consider this with one example. So let's say if one fault happens at 5 p.m., the other fault on the same day happens at 8 p.m. So the mean time between the two failures is three hours here. So similarly, we measure the mean of these failures and then come up with a figure of MTBF. For MTBF, higher MTBF is always better. Just to highlight here, uh, on one of the systems that I work currently, the MTBF is as high as four months. So that means between successive failures, there is a time of around four months that it takes. Next, in order to measure reliability is MTTR. So MTTR is nothing but mean time to repair. So whenever there is a downtime or whenever there is a issue which is there, this is the average duration which is required to fix that issue and bring the API back at its 100%. In simple words, you can consider it as downtime as well. So for MTTR, lower the MTTR, better it is. So this is how we calculate reliability. Next is response time or latency as we know. So latency is generally average duration in time unit like seconds or microsecond based on what sort of APIs you are supporting. This is the average duration that it takes to get a response for every request. Usually they are calculated in percentile. So you might have heard of P95 and P99 being the most famous one. That means 95% of the requests were answered in how much time 99 percentile of requests were answered in how much time so this is how we measure response time or latency so usually uh, we will see if p95 on a period is going up that means there is a latency which has been introduced and vice versa the next performance metric that we see for a distributed system is security threat and vul vulnerability security threat and vulnerability generally are often neglected in uh, systems because uh, generally there are different teams that handles uh, the sort of vulnerabilities that comes but then it is also a good metric to see your api because we should always use the latest version of the packages etc that we use to support the api so security threat and vulnerability means number of threats or vulnerabilities that we have discovered for a service over a period of time typically this time period is around one month to quarter so take these threats and vulnerabilities are measured per quarter or let's say per month. Next is throughput. Throughput is very important. So throughput is nothing but uh, it denotes the number of transactions or API requests that your service is able to handle per second. So higher the throughput, better your service is considered. Consider it this way that throughput is for simultaneous requests in general. Next is capacity for performance metric. So capacity is maximum number of requests that you support per second. You might be confused like how it is different from throughput then understand it this way that there are throttlings that happen on systems so for example let's say if my app or my api is able to support 2000 requests per second i'll keep the throttle at around 
ஒன்றுக்குவெஸ்ட்ரிக்வெஸ்ட்ரிக்வெஸ்ட்ரிக்வெஸ்ட்ரிக்வெஸ்ட்ரிக்வெஸ்ட்ரிக்வெஸ்